I came across this TikTok trend called timeline shifting, fell into a rabbit hole myself, and now we're here. Now we're doing this list. Great. Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Here are the top 10 real people who visited parallel universes and came back. Kicking off the list at number 10, Katie Rocks. You ever hop in the shower first thing in the morning and it feels like literal paradise? Otherworldly, some would say. Well, a new TikTok trend has me meditating in the shower now. Apparently, here we go. TikTok users left, right, and center are stepping forward, or rather backwards, with their claims on entering parallel universes. Nashville model Katie Rocks recently kicked this off and she used the social media platform to recall a 2017 trip to Paris that some of her classmates claimed missed the flight, although Katie saw them with her own eyes. I remember walking on that aircraft past two of my friends and sitting like three rows behind them. Then the four of us took a taxi back to the apartments we were staying in while we were in school and I distinctly remember this. Two days later they're talking about how they weren't three rows in front of us and to this day I have no idea why they remember missing the flight. That's way too close to the plot of Final Destination. Honestly this creeps me out just reading about it. I can't even begin to unravel this one. No way. The same user, Katie Rocks, posted again a month later. This time saying she's since discovered the ability to shift realities. Showers. Hot showers are the key, apparently. I would have guessed baths, but showers are cool too. We'll, we'll take those. Number nine, a familiar face. Username Highlife No Miller Light posted this one a couple months back on Reddit. Great name also, gotta, gotta say, that's a really good name. It's since got a lot of attention, uh, let me know what you think. They say, I'm from a very dry, hot state in the US, and I was visiting California on a trip with my wife. While out eating, we both witnessed a person that looked exactly like me. Same typical mid fade and head dents inherited from my father, same body type, only chubby rather than my more slim and athletic frame. I saw the side profile from the back as they walked away from view and it was my exact face. That's so creepy. My wife had a direct view but could not remember directly what my face looked like. But she noted similarities from my body to head and even the way that I walked. I couldn't believe what we saw. Any thoughts? Question mark? I mean, if you didn't mention the head dents and got that specific, this wouldn't have stuck with me like it did. I also love the subtle roast on the other you. You're like, yeah, this guy was just like me, only, you know, not ripped. Otherwise, that's quite creepy. Thanks for sharing. Number eight, Quantum Leap. So yeah, I went down that rabbit hole I talked about and I discovered another TikTok. How fun, we love these, awesome. This Quantum Leap was obtained by Marion Valenza. She took to the social media platform to implore others to take the leap. You know, no more Manifestation Mondays. The key to these Quantum Leaps is a hot shower. Yeah, a hot shower, how convenient is that? Thank God it doesn't suck, you know? Thank God it's not a cold ice bath or else no one would know. Valenza explains the first rule here. Number one is that you wanna give yourself enough time because you don't want to rush this, obviously. You want to do this with intentionality, she says. Yeah, sorry I'm late, boss. I don't want to rush my hot quantum shower. You know how it is. He's like, oh yeah, classic. Next step is to literally visualize the water cleansing you so that it removes all your limiting beliefs, the negative thoughts that you have, all the things holding you back from stepping into your higher self. Visualize not currently being late for work. And then there you go, you're set. I'm gonna try this tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna have a hot quantum shower and arrive at 10.15. Number seven, Sleep Street. This one comes from username Oopsies. It's like Oopsies, but with a bit more O. Oh. Reoccurring dreams have never been so haunting. Forgot, it's a dark list. Here we go. Ever since I was a teenager, I've dreamed about an alternate life where I go to university and work in a city that I've never been in. It started around when I was 16 or 17 and now I'm 25. It's super detailed where I go on hikes, I hang out with friends, I bike through neighborhoods and do mundane everyday life things. The university is outside of a major city and I'm always exploring nature, beaches, islands, all that jazz. Last night I was feeling sick and in return had one of the most vivid dreams I've had in a long time. I met someone and developed a deep relationship that felt incredibly emotional and real. Luckily I woke up right when I was trying to navigate Google Maps to drive to a park so I remember the streets that we were on. The street was called Dutch Island Road. I never heard of it in real life so I decided to look it up. The only thing that popped up was a rural area in Rhode Island. It wasn't exactly the same layout of the roads I remember on the map but the nature and area looked eerily similar to what I saw while driving. I start looking around the area, clicking different locations, and I start to freak out on how everything looks just like in my dream. Mind you, I've never been to Rhode Island, but the weirdest part is that specific buildings in the Rhode Island University and Warwick area ones, those are the same ones that I saw in my dream all the time. I've always thought that my dreams are a glimpse of living an alternate universe, and I feel like this detail solidifies the potentiality of it being a reality. Thoughts? Uh, too many big words. Those are my thoughts. Potentiality, potentiality. I'm gonna start using that in the next list. You'll hear that from me in the future, for sure. Otherwise, so scary. Hope that goes away. Or doesn't? I don't know. Do you like it? I, would, I wouldn't I would like that. If I dreamt about 
about an alternate life? I'm like, yeah, I actually have two jobs. It's exhausting. I never sleep. Number six, good times, dad times. Coming from Reddit user Apprehensive Humor 55, they say, when I was young, from the ages of around three to 10, I was truly convinced I'd already lived a full life. I remember being around 40 years old with a wife and three kids, two boys and a girl. And then one day I just woke up as a child and my past was all just a big blur with random memories that would come to me here or there. I'm smiling because this is funny, but like, it's so scary. This is my biggest fear, I think, in life. It made no sense. My parents said that I used to tell stories about when I was a dad and they would just laugh it off and be like, oh, that's your imagination, obviously. But deep down, I genuinely did have these strange memories of a past life. For instance, when I was four years old, my family went to Disney World and the whole car ride down, I was telling stories about when I was a dad and I went to Disney World. <laughs> just a kid in the back seat with milk, like, oh yeah, these roads. Still haven't fixed them. <laughs> The weirdest thing is that when we got to Disney World, I knew that I'd already been there before. I knew where everything in the park was and was essentially showing my family everything. At that time, my family just thought it was weird that I knew where everything was, but at the time in my head, it all made sense. To me, I just knew where all the rides were because of when I was a dad. After a while, I stopped telling these stories of when I was a dad because my siblings would always make fun of me for it. I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing, this is my worst, you, you, I'm laughing at you a little bit, this is crazy. Eventually, I just started going on with my life and haven't thought about much of it since, although I wish I did, because the memories back then were much more vivid and real than how they are now. He's gonna be so confusing, 30 years to his kids, he's like, ah, oh, when I was a dad for the first time, Disney was way less busy. Kids are like, first time? What other family? What are you talking about? <laughs> Why is mom crying? <laughs> That's so scary. Um, I buy into this. I don't know, the afterlife, maybe that past dad died and then you're reborn? I don't know, that's scary, I don't wanna think of it. Number five, spirit animal. Do you believe in spirit animals? I kinda do, I want to at least. Ever since I watched Harry Potter, I always wanted a Patronus. Mine would be a frog for sure, it'd be like a little, little lanky frog. Wouldn't be cool at all. This next one makes me want to believe. Coming from user Less Cold, they say, about 30 years ago, I was a young college student heading back to college after break in an overnight bus. I was about 19, didn't drink or anything, had no history of mental illness, and was reading a book when seamlessly, I wasn't in the bus anymore. Anymore. I was now swimming around a rock formation which I knew was part of my hunting territory and was chasing a fish which I then caught in my mouth and could feel the bones crushing between my teeth and it wriggling against my whiskers. That's how they posted it. No in between. They're just like, yeah, I was reading a book and all of a sudden I'm a fish. I was totally at ease. I was fast and agile and I could feel the drag of the water. Like, you know, the pull of the current question mark. I like how they included that mansplaining the current of the water. They're like, I being a fish know this, but do you know about this? I'm like, yeah, we know about currents, man. <sighs> I'll continue. As I moved effortlessly through it, I knew my body and where I was going and what I was doing and there was no alarm whatsoever that anything was amiss. You know, I didn't realize that I was really a 19 year old on a bus. The whole experience couldn't have lasted longer than 30 seconds or so and then just as seamlessly as I once was there, I was then again back on the bus. I remember sitting there for a second staring at the page of my book before, you know, having a WTF just happened reaction kicked in and then I had a bit of a mental freak out. Then a few years later I saw a documentary about sea otters and I knew then that that's what I had been for that brief moment in time. I knew it's impossible Possible, but it happened to me and surely I can't be the only one. I don't know, man. I've never been a sea otter before. Chris, have you been a sea otter? You don't think so. You don't think. You never know. Never say never though. Has anybody ever heard of something like this or have, has it happened to you? Have you been reading a book and then all of a sudden you're a sea otter eating a fish with whiskers? If so, sound off down below. Sea otters are just smacking the keyboard. They're like, help, help me switch back. Number four, switching universes. Coming from Mulks23, this one is so specific that it may very well just be real. Honestly, I'm a little convinced. I've been wanting to share this for some time now. A few months ago, one morning, I believe when I woke up, I did so to a different universe. Similar to ours, but different in some aspects. Before I went to sleep the night before, I kept my Surface tablet on my nightstand and it was absolutely fine. The next day when I opened it though, I could see a large crack across the top. There's nothing, repeat nothing, that could have caused the crack. I was disappointed, of course, the tablet's new, but I didn't think much of it. However, over the course of the following days, I noticed some things slash events are significantly different than how I remember them to be. An actress that I know was married to a gangster, is happily now married to a businessman. A different actress, married married said gangster, a name that I would have definitely known. I'm from India and I settled in US and this is a Bollywood actress in question. A series that was being released on Amazon Prime is now on Netflix, question mark. Yeah, that happens all the time. I'm still asking those questions myself. I'm watching Harry Potter on like three different platforms. Like what's going on? The movie Morbius, I've seen this movie. I thought they must have remade this or something, but nope, it was a new movie. A few other things as well, but those I can attribute to misplaced memories. Not the above though. Also, I definitely did not hit my head or anything which could have caused me to remember things differently. I mean, after all of that, I gotta ask, how is Morbius? It doesn't look that bad, honestly. Hope Spider-Man's in it. Thanks for sharing, Mulks23. Hopefully you're in the right universe. Number three, Cosmic Commute. This one has me stumped, folks, I'm not gonna lie. Username IcyFlame to you says, in January, I left my friend's home at almost midnight. I live not even 10 minutes north of her. I remember getting in my car and then boom, 
I'm pulled over by the police. It's 2.10 a.m. now, and I'm one hour north of her, close to crossing state lines. In a city I have never been to, I didn't even know how to get out there and what freeways I took, as we are not really close to any freeways. How did I get there, and what happened to a whole extra hour? When I returned home, I was having such anxiety from it all that I was throwing up and everything. We just don't understand what happened. The comments were supportive here. Some suggest to look into epilepsy, but the OP responded right after saying that they did, and luckily that wasn't the case. So, what do you guys think it is? Comment down below. I think definitely a time leap. That's pretty crazy. Number two, dog treats and universe leaps. Anything involving dogs, I buy into it. I mean, who would lie about dogs for attention, right? Only psychos, I guess. Username meman42069 says, when I was getting ready to go to my brother's house, I packed some stuff for my dog since he was coming. I put my dog's toys, leash, two dog shirts, and treats. I packed them all up, and when I got to my brother's house, I was looking for my dog's treats, and my dog's treats were not there. I vividly remember putting my dog's treats in a bag, and the weird thing was, when I got home, his treats were in the exact spots that I picked it up from and it didn't fall out of the bag and somebody didn't put it back because I live alone. So I was thinking maybe I slipped into a parallel universe where I didn't pack my dog treats. I've been weirded out by it for the past year and I've been trying to come up with a better reason. I mean, that sounds alarming 100%, but panicking about anything that involves dog treats, it's just hilarious to me, sorry. Yeah, I hope you figure out your problem, but more importantly, I hope your dog doesn't get stiffed on treats again. And finally, number one. 2016 again. This one caught my attention, it caught it real, real bad. Posted five days ago by user Silence v Silence. They say, the universe is currently shifting and it has been the past few days. The last time a change took place like this was November 2016-ish. Some of you already know this. I'm sure you felt it in the air over the past week like I have. It feels positive, I hope it is. First comment has tons of upvotes here and it says, your ears ringing real bad too? Question mark. This is insane because my ears have been ringing a lot in the past month. I mentioned it to Olivia, swear to God. Are your ears ringing? I don't know, what universe are we in? Do we want a part two of this list? Hit that thumbs up if so. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters, and we'll see you next time on Most Amazing Top 10. Peace.